Hey everyone, it's Cardigan Kid here, James Townsend. I am the host of Chasing Billy, a YouTube show, and I've been asked by my buddies at Cools Paranormal to give you my top 20 favorite films. It's kind of a difference between what you think the best films are and what your favorite films are. So a lot of my favorite movies are uh, probably terrible movies, but and definitely not the best, but... You know, these are movies that you watch as a kid or that you have some nostalgia attached to or that you grew up with. So, uh, you know, here's my top favorite movies, my top 20 favorite movies, not what I think are the best movies out there uh, or, you know, objectively uh, good movies. These are my favorite movies. So don't judge me. Stop judging. Uh, <laughs> starting at the bottom of the list, but in no particular order. Uh, number 20 is uh, The Kingdom of Heaven, particularly the director's cut roadshow version. It's like four hours long. Um, the Orlando Bloom Crusades movie. I just really like that movie. I've grown up with it. And uh, just a just really solid movie, I think, especially the uncut one. It's got a lot more scenes and story in it. Next up is Joker with Joaquin Phoenix, one of my all-time favorite movies it's just a work of art, in my opinion. Uh, one of the best movies out there. Even outside of the superhero mythos, it, it's uh, just a good film. Next up, Interview with the Vampire with Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt. I grew up on this flick. Uh, it exposed me to the Vampire Chronicles by Anne Rice, which I love uh, the book series. And it just have a lot of nostalgia attached to it. Rewatching now, it's kind of goofy. But um, yeah, I like it. Uh, the Kid, starring Dane DeHaan as Billy the Kid. It was uh, directed by Vincent D'Onofrio, I believe, uh, who I love that guy in just about anything he does anyway. But it's a great Billy the Kid flick. A lot of really cool, uh, historically accurate scenes uh, woven into a completely fictional tale about a boy on the run with his sister. Uh, it's a good, good movie. I definitely recommend The Kid. Uh, next on the list is Step Brothers, uh, Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. Classic movie I can watch anytime. Uh, and this oh, I can also quote it uh, almost backwards and forwards. Uh, in that same line, another favorite film of mine is The Other Guys with Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell, which I think is just one of the funniest movies. Nothing top Step Brothers, but this one's pretty close. Uh, and then uh, a Paul Rudd movie. I love you, man. Uh, with what is that other guy's name? He's in uh, How I Met Your Mother. Jason, I forget his last name, but uh, it's a it's a great movie. One of my favorites. Uh, quote that all the time too. Um, and this one's kind of uh, odd. I am a Star Wars fanatic. I love all the Star Wars movies and shows. Um, Disney can just keep making trash and put a Star Wars logo on it, and I'll probably watch it. But one of my favorite. Star Wars movies is Solo, um, the standalone, you know, movie they put out uh, along the same lines of, of Rogue One and those projects they were doing before Solo flopped and uh, had them re rethink their strategy. But Solo is actually one of my favorite Star Wars movies. It's not too deep or involved. You can just put it on any time and just enjoy a solid good Star Wars tale, in my opinion. Uh, so it's one of my favorites. Next is Office Space. It's pretty much a description of my life. Um, I work in an office, and uh, it comes from Mike Judge, the guy who's behind Beavis and Butthead and King of the Hill, and it's just a fantastic movie. Uh, next up on the list is Young Guns 2. I saw Young Guns 2 before I saw the first one. I saw... Young Guns 2 in the theaters when it came out, and that was what ignited my interest in Billy the Kid and really got me into, I think it was like my first Western I ever saw, period. So it really started the whole thing. So I have a special place in my heart for Young Guns 2. That's not to say I don't love the first one, but when we're talking about top favorite movies, Young Guns 2 lands a lot higher than the first one. Um, that's just me. That's my opinion. The next one is The Big Lebowski. I've probably seen The Big Lebowski, no exaggeration, probably like between 200 and 400 times. Um, 
when I was in high school, every week we would uh, have a Lebowski night. It was on a Wednesday. I don't know how we swung that during school year. Maybe it was only in summer. But uh, yeah, Lebowski nights were every Wednesday, and we would just get together with friends and throw it in the VCR and watch it. And, you know, it was just always on every Wednesday night. So that's got a special place in my past and, and in my youth and growing up. The next one's probably one of my all-time favorite movies, and I will always watch it. I've seen it countless times, and that is Conan the Destroyer. <laughs> a lot of people think it's cheesy and hate it, and, uh, you know, I think it's a great movie. I, I've watched it since I was a kid. Gosh, since I was probably about four years old, it's, it'll be always be the one of the quintessential movies of my childhood and uh, you can call it a guilty pleasure or whatever, but that's one of my all time favorite movies and I will gladly die on that hill. <laughs> you can throw that up on number one if you want. Um, the next movie on my list is the adjustment bureau with Matt Damon. Uh, I really like that movie. It's kind of a, it's not often talked about. It's, kind of fell by the wayside, but it's just really inventive. Uh, it's about this guy on the run um, from these, I don't know, angels who wear fedoras and jump between hallways to travel the world. It's just a really original idea and a good tale and just a well-told story. It's just one of my favorites. I find myself going back to it all the time. Uh, next one is Live, Die, Repeat, which was also called Edge of Tomorrow. Uh, it's a sci-fi with Tom Cruise about aliens and about, you know, seeing into the future. It's kind of like if you took Bill Murray's Groundhog Day and fused it with a sci-fi alien movie, this is what you'd get. And it just turned out to be one of my favorites. And it, uh, another just one that kind of went under the, got swept under the rug and nobody really ever talks about it, but it's, it became one of my favorite movies. I've seen it a ton of times uh, and I, you know, I own it and I rewatch it frequently um, next up is my favorite, I guess you call it horror film. It's my favorite zombie film, uh, 28 Days Later. It's just a, it, to me, it's just a fantastic movie as far as the zombie genre goes. Love that movie. Um, Ghostbusters. That was my first ever v VHS, uh, you know, I got a VCR probably in the early 80s. And Ghostbusters was my first ever VHS tape that was purchased. First movie I ever watched at home. And it's a, you cannot top some of the stuff in Ghostbusters. It's just one of the quintessential, you know, films of all time. I, to me, it's just, I don't know. I don't want to repeat myself too much, but it's, it's a work of art. It's Ghostbusters. The original one is just, oh man, just amazing. Uh, it's, it's one of my favorite films ever. Um, next up on the list is Pleasantville with Tobey Maguire, um, Jeff Daniels. Um, who's that other guy? The guy from Shameless. I forget his name. A really good actor. I don't know why all these names are slipping my mind, but um, it's right there. I'm, I'm sure everybody's just yelling at it. William H. Macy. Um, he's a... Uh, He's really good in it. Pleasantville to me is just an all around amazing philosophical movie. It, it, it examines a lot of things about being yourself and living with authenticity and, and trying to break out from underneath the demands society places on you. And it's really inventive. Um, it's a great film. Uh, next up is Gangs of New York. I don't think I need to really elaborate on that. I don't know anybody who would argue that that's a, a bad movie. It's fantastic. Um, and another one starring Daniel Day Lewis, one of my favorites is there will be blood. Uh, it's, some people say it's a slow, slow moving movie. I love slow movies like that. I love cinematic masterpieces, which is what this is. Um, one of my favorite movies to watch anytime is, uh, there will be blood and another slow burner, which is an absolute top shelf movie in my opinion is the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford with uh, Brad Pitt, Casey Affleck, um, Jeremy Renner, just a ton of good actors. It's God, what a movie it, it to me. That's just a, there's no, I have no complaints about that movie. It's just a fantastic 
piece of art. You know, there's movies that you love that you grew up on, like Conan the Destroyer, which someone can tell me that that's it's a terrible movie, and I'd be like, probably. But there's other movies like The Assassination of Jesse James that are just, I don't, I mean, you can not like it, but I don't know how you can say it's not a masterpiece, even if you don't like it. But anyway, that's my top 20 films. Hope I didn't go through it too slow or too fast. And uh, let's see where it goes from here. Thanks. So again, thank you to James Townsend for joining us and giving his 20 favorite film list. And like he said, let's see where this is going because we will actually be doing a panel show discussing our top 100 favorite films. And so that's why we've asked some of our friends like Shane and of course today James Townsend to help us with our determination of where movies fall by giving us their favorite films and so it's always exciting watching and editing these to uh, update the standings and I cannot wait to uh, share that show with you Uh, it's going to be a blast but until next time make sure today you also go over to James's YouTube page and check out his show Chasing Billy you know we love Billy the Kid on the channel and his show is always fantastic so I do highly recommend it go check it out for more of our top 20 favorite films click that link to your left for more of us here at Cools Paranormal click that link to your right and don't forget to hit that like and give us a subscribe and let us know what are your favorite films tell us in the comments below